Alrighty guys, welcome. This is Age here. We are just uh, going through session now. I've had a lot of people asking if they want to see the board in the game and some actual in-game play. So here we are, we're ready to go. Uh, I just want to start off with a massive shout out to at New Money Millions. He was a huge part in helping me design this board and uh, very grateful to him. So follow him on Instagram, that's at New Money Millions. And also to my man Sam, who was really helpful in uh, getting this board into the game. So he, you know, got the graphic from me and made it all happen. So also very grateful to him. So I was thinking today what we'll do is just kind of go through the game, have a look at, you know, the map for those that haven't played session yet. Show you around and show you how actually trash I am at the game. It's pretty, <laughs> but we're getting there, nice little trophy. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty cool. Definitely one of my favourite games. It's still in the early access at the moment. So there's a few bugs and whatnot, uh, which the developers, uh, which I think is Action of Create, are currently fixing. So you'll see some glitches here and there, but overall it's a really cool game. And we are dead. Uh, yeah, so super, super cool game. Loved it already. It's really hard to get used to. Uh, for those that have played like the Skate series, um, that is definitely a lot easier, but I find this game way more realistic, just with the controls and it really does kind of just uh, take skate games to a whole new level. So um, we could tray flip down the stair set. Uh, so for, if you don't know, this is like based in New York. Um, so you'll see soon we'll head up to the Brooklyn Banks and whatnot. Uh, super famous skate spot for anyone that knows anything about skating uh, some of the most iconic tricks have gone down there uh, so yeah this is kind of just show out little spots I obviously have never been to New York so I don't know how much of this is real um, but from what I hear it's a pretty cool uh, idea of what it's like out there and there is going to be a lot more um, of this map that gets developed. Uh, there's a few like road blockages here and there that you might see uh, where the map will extend as the developers finish it. But for now, I have still got a pretty decent sized map, but I think it's going to be a lot bigger. Um, I'm really pumped. So it's just really cool seeing your own board and graphic dead uh, in a game. Uh, it kind of feels a bit surreal. Definitely, definitely cool. Love this nine set here, it's really cool. Nice tray flip down there. The kicky. Go back again. Front side 360 kick flip. Could never do that in real life. And it's dead. Still definitely trying to get used to it. It's not the easiest game at all to play. Uh, there also is another skate, skate game out at the moment for the skater itself, which I might uh, do a video for soon as well. That's a pretty cool game, a little bit easier to play, uh, but I kind of like this a little bit more at the moment. Both games are in early access, so this game's supposed to be out on Xbox. It was supposed to be last month now, I don't know what's going on. Um, probably just some development issues. But it should be out on Xbox soon at the moment, it's just on Steam, uh, which is pretty cool. But looking forward to seeing it out on like the bigger platforms and stuff. Xbox, PlayStation, all that kind of gear. Dead. So here, this is like the main menu that you go to, um, where you can like kind of customize your skater, edit your videos, all that kind of gear. So that's me for now, and green bean dude. Go down and check out some decks. So that's our board. The second line skateboard board, which is super cool. Then uh, you've got some heroin boards and whatnot. You'll see up there. I love how they've got different sizes here. I think other skate games have lacked that. Like you can actually choose the size of your deck. It's in like some pretty big sizes. So I think there's like an 8.5, a 9.5, 9.25 there. And there's also some cool shape boards as well, which I find really cool. So they're kind of taking it next level in a way. As far as like customizing and all that kind of stuff. Which makes it super fun, but we're going to stick with my board. Because it's not every day you get to say you can use your own board. 
So we'll go back to the skate, there's our kitchen area. So this is, yeah, your main menu kind of thing. Everything kind of comes out of there. Usually if you get stuck in a glitch as well, you kind of got to go back to the menu and then head back out to kind of get rid of that glitch. And dead. I don't think I've ever got like that. It's ridiculous. Just jump it. It's easier. So no hickey nose menu. Yeah, that's a vibe. Okay, kick the nose side. Kick flip. Hill flip. Varial hill flip. Varial kick flip. Another varial kick flip. Why not? Another kick flip. Yeah, some pretty cool little slappy things around here on this map as well. The manuals look really cool, you see, the nose manual. I really like the way they've done this. It just flows really, really good. Considering, and I know they're going to update it and make it even better, but like, already at the moment, it's just such a sick game. I'm not gonna lie, I've had to edit this so many times. There's been way too many stacks on this. Kind of a Ryan Sheckler kind of get there, a massive kick flip. Oh, I bonked on the rail. It's hard to pick up speed from the uh, 540 kick flip because that's super realistic. Said no one ever. And then apparently uh, there's Jonathan Strain and one of my favourite skaters is another Sydney boy, uh, Dan Berman, don't know if many of you guys know him, but he's also going to be a playable character in the game. I'm hoping that they will unlock that soon because that'll be super sick. We have to use those guys. At the moment there's no real main characters, you just kind of customise your own. But I was always a fan of just being able to skate actual skaters. So it's going to be good when they come out. Definitely be looking forward to that, that's for sure. This is small bank out here. Nice tray flip over it. A lot of big tricks throughout history have been done here. I think that's what's kind of cool. There's also like a historic challenge in this game, which I think is sick. Where uh, they don't really tell you, you've got to kind of work them out. But you just, uh, yeah, so you kind of can go through the checklist of different historical things that have been done throughout the new, uh, new York banks. I don't know how many there is or two, there's quite a few. But I, I really like that idea, I think that's super sick. Yeah, there's that kind of bridge real soon here. It'll be cool when they open up the uh, Brooklyn Bridge to skate. I think there is a way you can get on there now, but it's actually not skatable. Yeah, it was there we go. Cool little nine set here, double flip. I flip a little bit sketchy, but I'll take it. The reverts here are pretty cool too. You can kind of revert in and out of tricks, which I really do. I think one of the Tony Hawk's games allowed you to do that, but Skate definitely didn't capitalize on that. So, yeah, kicky front board, super sketch. I'll take that in my life any day. So I flip. Yeah, that's a vibe. I'll probably leave it at that. So yeah, again, shout out to at New Money Millions and my man Sam. Thanks for watching.